Hello everyone, welcome to 16 Bits Tech. My name is Lubins and today I talk about the Maven versions. In this video, I bring to you how to reach the version of the component and the version of your project if you're using the Java and also using the Maven. Maven is a powerful tool to generate a new version for your local using the command line interface or if you prefer, you can go to GitHub and generate your version using the GitHub. The main difference generating the version using the GitHub and using the, the Maven on your local machine is when you make uh, or want to generate a version on GitHub is a draft version, you need to, to change your .xml, the version, um, manually. This for me is a, is a bad approach. The, be, the best approach should be generate the version incrementally, but it's a, it's a way to do You can change the, the .xml and use uh, the, the current version, okay? No problem at all. So the main idea, as I said, is bring to you how to reach the Maven, major, the, the Maven version, the component version, and also bring some example of the code and the useful, how, how you take advantage, in fact, of using the, the text. Maybe sometime in your life or your development, you is in face some kind of problem or some, some presentation, and using text make your, your life easier to avoid error or to avoid the bold on presentation, okay? If you want to, to show some code, you, you can do this perfectly, but my recommendation is create tags, create versions, but creating versions to avoid, let's say, real problems or kind of problems can happen in your life. Let's say you want to, to show some feature or some code and suddenly, um, I don't have the compilation, I, I'm missing a reference and so on. Because this creates a lot of tags and these tags that represents the point of time of your company. And remember, when you create a tag inside your project, the tag is immutable, okay? A snapshot, in the other hand, is totally, totally, totally mutable. And the snapshot versions only should be used in development mode, never when you need to create a release. Keep it, keep it in mind, okay? So now go for it and let's go to the presentation and see a little bit of the code, okay? Let's go there, see you. Right now, see the, the part of the code and the presentation as well. So I made this presentation here to be more clear about the version, about the, the qualifier and so on. Right here, I have some, some components and the component represents the, the backend project. I mean, the Java project using the, the Gradle, um, the Maven or whatever you want to use, okay? So the main idea here is work with these kinds of the, on the left, I mean, major, minor, incremental, builder, and qualifier. That means when you generate a new version of your product or your, let's say, uh, project, we should work in this way. Most of times we working in development mode using the snapshot because snapshot is all the time being replaced in, in continuous integration to be uh, good enough. When this version is good enough, a new version is generated, okay? And the tag on, on your project follow the same approach of this Maven version. Okay, so then let's jump to the, the second slide where I, I put this very, very specifically regarding the snapshot. The snapshot is just to develop mode. If you try to use the snapshot version inside your component, be aware this should be a big mistake, okay? Don't use the snapshot version in, of the components inside your project to avoid uh, future problems for you too, okay? So, how this works? Let's say, in this case here, we have 
the xxx hyphen yeet and z well you can do that we can see what happened the the, the first three x we have just the, the version and then the patch and the last one the build okay as i said before if you pass through the ci let's say jenkins gitlab github or circle ci we have this every time you build your project you have this number if you want to to put this number inside your version good for you no problem at all you can do that okay and then here two examples of using um version inside two projects let's, let's open here because this, this is so so small let's open here here we can see the pawn xml file of the quarkus and here you can see and the models let's see one one second let's open for properties uh, dun, dun, dun. Well, it's missing some version here. Maybe I put some something wrong. Let's back. Um, let's back here. Uh, Quarkus, and see this the good one. I need to fix. Okay, this is this is a good one. Okay, so right now we have here um, some component versions. I mean, one point six three. 14.1 and 0.0.10. This means this is the, the version, the incremental is the patch. Okay, if you have the another number, should be the builder. Okay, so this is the, the common on, on projects in it by, by Maven. Also, you can let's back here to presentation and also open the spring are to the C project, okay? In this project, you can see right here uh, the snapshot version, okay? It's not a good approach, but this project is the, the main, it is in fact, it's the snapshot version. As I said, the snapshot version could be some kind of this behavior, but be aware when you generate a new version, this version never should carry um, this version here okay snapshot is not is a bad idea and then you can see also over here the release and preview rs and final maybe uh in some of time or let's say that there uh, let's back here to the presentation in some point of time you can see that the guys talk about uh, release candidate and release candidate one, two, and three. This is to evaluate the component, evaluate the product, and the product when it's ready for production, this component or this product is released, and then this version is not more available. The the best the the, the version available should be without the RC1. Let's let's demonstrate here using the let's copy let's copy this value. Uh, Okay, let's copy this one and open a new one here on, oh, sorry. And um, yes, this one, this one here. Okay, let's copy this and see about this one. Let's say we are on the text, the tag 1.3.0 shouldn't have any, any snapshot version. As you see here, the version one, oh, sorry. 1.3 okay and then now we hit here you have this correct version without any kind of snapshot okay this is the, the, the main idea of the project okay if you want to to go deeper inside the versioning you can also have here the semantic version this is give an idea regarding as i said before the major, the minor, the patch, and also the build when you want to put this on your project and and do the things more properly and professional. Okay, if you want to to see this in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, let's say, also you can see this kind of version here or change it to 
espanhol, como queráis, or in another language, let's say in French or Catalan. Ok, em Catalan é gestão semântica de versão e se poder, sorry, and you, now you can use the, Cat, the Catalan um, to use that, ok? But the, the first idea is use the English. And ok, uh, if you want to, to see more, more and more about this version, let's open here the Spring RC. Let's say the last on RC1, I suppose. Uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago, March, yes, two days ago, today is, um, oh, hold on, I'm, I'm lost on time, uh, I don't have this, okay, no problem, this was for three or days ago, and then, as you see here, the RC1, this is the release candidate for Sprint Core integration. If everything goes well, the version should be 5.5.0, okay? Uh, and you go to the, there is some links here, uh, the milestone, the message groups, and GitHub issues. Okay, let's go to the project page and see if the code is available, you can, you can check. Um, okay, let's go to the GitHub. It's jumping and jumping and jumping, okay? No problem at all. Now you have, you have it here on the tab text, you have this version here. 5.5.0 hyphen RC1, okay? It's the same for, for the last one. Maybe you can see the, the let's see all tags here. This is the candidate from three days ago, okay? And and now we have the four, four, five, and so on. And if you want to use a tool, uh, let's say like a, this is the Git Kraken, you can see the tags as well. In this project I'm using for, for show is the project from the previous video regarding the GitHub Actions, Allure and so on. I'm using the same project here, here. and how now you have some, I create some tags, you know, the first tag, the second one, the third one, and, and so forth, okay? Um, how important is to have a tag? It's very important if you want to, to work using the component, let's say, whatever component you want to use is a, is a good practice uh, using a component, let's say, or given a presentation, you want to, to give a presentation and some in some point of the presentation, you want to, to show something or don't show something. In this case, uh, for instance, I can go, let's say, uh, check out a tag and say tags slash one dot one, 0.0.2 or 020 and then bring this tag to my environment okay and then if I let's say ah now I have some some code here I don't have the all the code regarding the project and if anything goes wrong or any problem you have doing the let's say um coding live, let's say it's difficult because something could be wrong, you can change to, let's say, let's move to another tag, let's, uh, and then let's say here, uh, oh, sorry, tags 1.0.2, okay, this is the, the last one I have, and everything is changed, and I, I can continue with my work or with my my things in the presentation. This is a good approach when you have to, to work, to coach, and be prepared for something wrong. And let's say this this t-shirt, back to the past. You want to back to the past, or even fix a bug, and you install this version inside the client, and the client has some issue. You will, let's say, issue inside the version. Let's take a version here. Um, 1.0.0, let's say this is the, the, the version 1. I'm check out this version. If I need to, to fix something, let's say I need to fix uh, the account. Let's say I need to put one more field here. Okay, this is private. Let's say string. Um, date of birth. Let, just to, to uh, a silly field, okay? So if I compare this version with the master, 
in this case, uh, compare with branch uh, origin master. I have some different, something different here. This is the pom XML, it's changed. And another kind of change here, let's say one more. Uh, okay, this is the, the last one. And then I have this, this change here. I can go fix this code, change this code, put this code of the tag inside the master branch, and then continue my, with my software um, based on the tag or based in something I need to provide to the client or fix a bug or if the client don't don't have the opportunity to update or upgrade your software, you can fix in this version, in this tag, deploy this version to the, the client and then move this change to the master branch or to the head and continue with your software, okay? So the message for today, uh, this is the message for today, work with tags, work with um, with branches and versions, and be aware regarding the working with snapshot version. In this project, let's say, let's open the, the POM XML. In this case here, I'm always working with the concrete version, okay? Not never using the snapshot or something like that to, pro to avoid problems in the future, okay? So that's it, and let's back to coach and see you on the next video, okay? Bye-bye.